So this is an eBay bid I won last week. Uh, there's about eight gimbal motors in here and three brushless motors and a bunch of gimbal controllers and other bits and bobs. So I'll be using the gimbal uh, instead of the seat and the teddy bear. Um, so we'll have some vision recognition and hopefully my chair will be able to drive itself around. So I can see there's quite a few things here, quite a few gimbal motors and things like that. I think the previous owner probably had quite a few crashes on his drone and uh, broke a few bits. So I need to work out what works and what doesn't. Here we have a servo motor. There's a couple, a couple of servo motors here uh, form like a, a mini gimbal for very light loads. So um, I'm connecting the two uh, servo motors into my server test tool um, and then powering got five volts being powered the server test tool here. So these server test tools are pretty cool and um, they cost about eight quid on eBay and quite useful. I even use them sort of Arduino projects as a, a bit like pots if you know what I mean. So uh, there doesn't seem to be any problem with this, uh, this gimbal setup. Of the eight brushless gimbal motors, four are Turnergy motors and four are non-brand motors. I'm using this um, ESC controller, it's very simple. I bought it hoping that I'd be able to sort of flash some sort of custom code onto it, but it doesn't look like it's got any sort of pins. I was hoping it'd be like a, an SDM32 controller, but it wasn't. But you can still use it along with the servo test tool again to control the speed. And it's quite a simple way of working out whether the motors work or not. All four Turnergy motors seem to be working, but uh, two of the non-branded motors are playing up. I had no problems with the three high-speed motors either. I've got this gimbal controller, this came with it. I managed to burn it out, but fortunately I've got a second gimbal. It's, the, it's a BGC. They come with a MPU 6050, so they're perfect for gimbals. They cost about £12. But I don't really like them. I'll talk a bit about the uh, Storm 32. So I wrote some code, um, basically reads the pitch and the roll of the MPU 6050 and tries to move the motors. You can see the motor on the left, one of the non-brand motors, is having problems. And here's a, an early prototype of the gimbal that I plan to put on top of my uh, hover chair. It's 3D printed. It's, it's quite wobbly, um, so I need to fix that. I've got the same uh, BGC, the same code that I wrote. So again, you know, when I move the MPU uh, 6050, um, we can see it moving. Probably needs a low pass filter on, on the pitch and uh, roll because it's a bit jerky at the moment. We can smooth that out. So you can pick these boards up for about a tenner. They're very similar to Arduino Uno boards. They've got about the same amount of memory and the same speed. I'd actually recommend going for one of these uh, Storm 32 boards instead. They're four times faster, they've got loads more memory, and they've got a decent chip from TI, the DRV8313, to power the three motors. I'll likely be using this uh, for my gimbal on my hover chair. So as well as the video recognition gimbal thing, I'm halfway through adding support for these three boards to Arduino. So one's for gimbals, one's for skateboard, and one for drones. It should make these boards much easier to use from within Arduino. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.